institutions and regular web users are always on alert about avoiding errant clicks and downloads online that could lead their devices to be infected with malware. Institutions and regular web users are always on alert about avoiding errant clicks and downloads online that could lead their devices to be infected with malware. But not all attacks require a user slip up to open the door. Research published this week by the threat monitoring firm ZSOPS shows the types of vulnerabilities hackers can exploit to launch attacks that don't require any interaction from the victim at all and the ways such hacking tools may be proliferating undetected. Vulnerabilities that can be exploited for zero-click attacks are rare and are prized by attackers because they don't require tricking targets into taking any action an extra step that adds uncertainty in any hacking scheme. They're also valuable because less interaction means fewer traces of any malicious activity. Zero-click exploits are often thought of as highly reliable and sophisticated tools that are only developed and used by the most well-funded hackers, particularly nation-state groups. The ZSOPS research suggests a different story, though perhaps attackers are willing to settle in some cases for using less reliable but cheaper and more abundant zero-click tools. I think there are more zero-clicks out there. It doesn't have to be nation-state grade, says Setsop's founder and CEO Zuk Avrahim. Most wouldn't care if it's not 100% successful or even 20% successful. If the user doesn't notice it, you can retry again. Any system that receives data before determining whether that delivery is trustworthy can suffer an interactionless attack. Early versions often involved schemes like sending customized malicious data packets to unsecured servers but communication platforms for email or messaging were also prime targets for these types of assaults. The ZSOPS research specifically looks at three issues in Apple's iOS mail app that could be exploited for zero-click attacks. The vulnerabilities have been in the mail app since iOS 6 released in September 2012, meaning they have potentially exposed millions of devices over the years. But the bugs don't allow a full device takeover by themselves. The attack starts with a hacker sending a specially crafted email to the target. In iOS 13, the current version of Apple's mobile operating system, victims wouldn't even need to open the email for the attacker to gain a foothold in their device. For their attackers could potentially exploit other flaws to gain deeper access to the target. Apple said in a statement that after reviewing the ZSOPS research it has concluded that the findings don't pose an immediate risk to iOS users. The researcher identified three issues in mail, but alone they are insufficient to bypass iPhone and iPad security protections, and we have found no evidence they were used against customers, Apple said. The ZSOPS report agrees. These bugs alone cannot cause harm to iOS users since the attackers would require an additional info leak bug and a kernel bug afterwards for full control over the targeted device, it says. But the researchers also note they found indications that the bugs were actually exploited in devices of the clients. ZSOPS says the victims included members of a Fortune 500 company in North America, a Japanese telecom executive to journalist in Europe, and what the researchers call a VIP in Germany, among other victims. The firm couldn't directly analyze the special emails that would have been used to mount the attacks, the researchers say, because the hackers used the access they gained to delete them from victims' phones. Apple released test patches for the vulnerabilities in the iOS 13.4.5 beta and the fix should enter wide release soon.
Even though the vulnerabilities ZSOPS disclosed couldn't be exploited for fundamental control on a target device, an attacker could still build a so-called exploit chain using the mail bugs as just the first link to mount an invasive attack. An iOS security researcher and Guardian firewall creator Will Stravark points out that while Apple and ZSOPS are correct about the limited utility of the mail bugs alone, it's still important to take these types of bugs seriously. A zero click like this is especially interesting because it is not a full exploit chain, yet due to the nature of how it works, it could enable something like a smash and grab for mailbox data. Even the prospect of copying emails then self-deleting the crafted attack email is quite scary.